All right, so before we jump into this video, I just wanted to give you a rundown and kind of a, an update before the video starts on what actually happened. So I titled it, uh, we caught five honeybee swarms because we did actually end up catching five swarms. I'm just gonna show you two out of the five catches because as the week transpired, it got a little bit overwhelming with, all right, we caught another hive, what do we do with them? And I had to start building all sorts of stuff and so in this video you're just going to see two of those swarms being caught um, but here they are behind me um, this is the first one our old hive this is about two years old uh, a little over two years old this was the first swarm we caught the second swarm we caught third swarm we caught and then i had to start building stuff because all of these makeshift boxes weren't working any longer and i needed something a little bit more permanent this is called a horizontal hive i'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out the guy that invented this and made it in a later video i'm going to show you guys step by step on how to build a horizontal hive like this and this actually has two hives in it one on the left and one on the right there's no bees out right now because it just stormed and it's kind of chilly outside so they're all huddled up staying warm uh, but yes, there's a there's a swarm in this side that we caught and then a swarm in this side that we caught and there's dividers So they can't access each other and then this hole is closed off So this horizontal hive is awesome and like I said, I'm gonna show you in a later video how to do that So let's go ahead and jump into the video I hope you guys enjoy seeing us catch uh, two two honeybee swarms and remember check us out on Instagram We post there almost every single day with updates that we're doing around the property and we have a lot of stuff going on that I can't fit into videos because I don't have enough time in a day. So check us out on Instagram at Goshen Farm and Gardens and uh, enjoy the video guys. We had our uh, bees, I know I mentioned it a couple videos ago that our bees, that our bees were looking like they're about to swarm. Well, they just swarmed. So last time this happened, uh, I had an easy situation. They swarmed on the side uh, wood line over there. I'll, link, I'll leave a link in the description below for the last swarm that I caught. Uh, but this swarm actually landed their spiders falling down from the netting. Bunch of spiders in here. Oh well. Uh, this swarm actually landed on one of our fruit tree areas. Actually the mulberry. Uh, the um, weeping mulberry tree it landed on. So let's go check them out. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's catch ourselves a bee swarm. Okay, so here's the swarm. Uh, hopefully my battery doesn't die, but it landed. I thought this was a t-shirt that the kids were playing yesterday and they just hung it in the tree. But this is a honeybee swarm. And this is what they do inside the hive. See how they're all clumped real close together? Just real close in there. All right, so we're gonna take this. This is the flow hive. We're gonna use this one. And watch out, there's wasps all in here. This, the top part was filled with wasps. So it's a little bit cool this morning. That's why none of, nothing's really moving around. Here we go. Spider. Watch out, guys. Watch out, just in case there's any wasps in here. So what? basically what we do is all we do is take one of these hive bodies and uh, pull it off here. Again, this is the flow hive. So we'll take the flow hive. Got a queen separator on the bottom. That's what this white thing is. Oh, those are all dead bees because this hive died. This bottom part, though the only part that's filled with flow hives, these are flow hive frames. I'll leave a link about flow hive in the description below. But these are the flow hive frames for when they um, 
I put the queen separator on there and they put honey in the flow highs. This is just a normal high body right here. Um, and it looks halfway oh, look, decent. Let me see. In you. I really need to take some of these off. This is really slicky. It's got tons of bees. Uh, use propolis Yummy. to stick stuff together. And the propolis Yummy. in this hive Bees. is absolutely, it's, I mean, there's tons, there's just tons of propolis in here. And it smells super duper duper good. Tell, tell everybody, it smells good. Ugh. Yeah, bee, bees, it's, they smell, generally they smell good. We got the, the I'm gonna reuse the wax from last year. Um, I don't know whether that's okay or not, but for now that's what we're gonna do. The water um, I, right here. Yeah, I cleaned out all the edges, got a lot of the uh, nasty comb out, any mold I took out, and any bugs, beetles, any of that stuff I took out, cleaned out the bottom, and now we're left with this. So I only put two frames on each side because when I dunk the hive over here, or the swarm, I want to have a place for it to fall in so um, it can fall in the center here. Here's the swarm. This is what they do when they're inside the hive body. And they're cold they all get in one big clump and they vibrate and they warm up that's how they warm up and so um, so what we'll do is now that they're here uh, before it gets warmer on in the day and they start moving around a lot more we're gonna go get the hive body over here and we're gonna place it right under here next to the tree and I'm gonna give it a shake and they'll just fall down right into the hive body at least that's the goal so let me go get this hive body and let's uh, give them a shake Got it. Getting stung like crazy. Yeah. Get it down. Get it down. All right. Sorry about that. Man, the bees just went crazy. They've never gone that crazy to the point of stinging. I got stung probably uh, eight, ten times. Pops got stung probably upwards near that same amount, but on his head. We got a decent amount of them in. We we're trying to just rake them in. They're on the side there. Um, the rest of them are still up here, so we got a little bit more work to do. And uh, I guess the best route would be, I'll just continue to push them in maybe. I don't know. Um, or yeah, we could put them in the bucket. We could put them in the bucket first and then dump the bucket in. Here we go. You ready, chickens? I just, well, give it a shake and you just put the bucket right down, okay? We got a lot in. Yeah, stay over there, buddy. Okay. If we had to use the old noggin the first time, we wouldn't have gotten stung like crazy. That time worked way better. We got our gear on, or somewhat of our gear on. None of us got stung. And all we did was shake it into the box. So let me show you what's going on. You can hear them. Hopefully you can hear them. I can hear them from here. Yeah. So. Some of them are still on the tree. We'll know whether we got the queen or not as to whether or not they're congregating in the box or they're congregating. Huh? You got stung? I think we probably got them. See if they're doing a march. Oh yeah, they're marching in, Pop. like they're starting to march in. See how they're slowly starting to work their way into the high body, walking over. It's a pretty good sign that we got the queen. I'm gonna put the rest of the frames in. Got two more uh, frames to get in there. The cool thing about this situation is that now they already have comb so they don't have to work so hard in the summer to produce that comb. 
this was kind of the ideal scenario that, and like I said in the previous video, um, titled trying to read the bees, uh, you can check that out. I'll leave it in the description below. What I was saying was the ideal scenario is that they, when they split, uh, they land somewhere where we can access them. And in this case, it was kind of a per perfect scenario that landed in the mulberry tree here and uh, we didn't have to do any climbing, anything drastic to get the hive. And so, um, yeah, just a kind of a perfect scenario worked out here today. So what we'll do is we'll let all these guys calm down, settle into the uh, new hive body for a little bit, and then um, we'll come back. I'll check back in with you guys. Big win for capturing the bees today. We have another swarm on the top of the hill. And you know what's funny? They went back to the exact same mulberry tree. Um, we're speculating because the pheromones from the other bees or the queen was still there. Don't get too close, buddy. And so they decided this is a good spot for us. So this is the first year ever we will be able to have caught two swarms, uh, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna, we don't have any high bodies left, at least bases for a high body. We have a high body, but no base and no top. So I made a little nuke box a while back to catch swarms. And we're gonna go ahead and use that little nuke box. Um, it's just a little makeshift quick, you know, um, box to stash bees when you need to. So in this instance, it's gonna be a good scenario. So I got some frames to put in there. So we're gonna go ahead and get dressed, uh, get our veils on this time, get our necessary clothes on so we don't get stung a billion times. And uh, let's go get this second swarm. So update on the other hive. This hive is doing great. This is the this is the other swarm that we caught the other day. And it looks like we're we're doing good here. So we're gonna take one of the wax frames that's already existing from here and uh, put it in the uh, nuke box, which is over there. Here, let me get it up. I'll hold it. Make sure we don't have a queen in there. So we're just scanning for the queen. They already filled. So here they are, same place. Same section. Hopefully they're not as mean today as they were the other day. Pops is thinking because it was cold outside is the reason that they were so aggressive. So here's our little nook box. Basically this is like a little homemade thing that I put together from some plans I found on the internet. Same goal as last time. We're gonna shake them off and get them into that nook box and hopefully land the queen in there. Uh, and then we'll have three hives. We need to uh, make a priority to go ahead and put some high bodies, some bases together uh, so that we can sufficiently keep these bees. Um, but for now, we're just our goal is to get them off of this mulberry tree and get them into the nuke box. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah. So now this is getting really confusing because I think the bees are utterly confused. We did find a queen, like a small queen on the ground and we picked her up and put her in the nook box. After that last shake that you saw, now they've gone from the mulberry tree over to the plum clot tree. As you can see, they're in the plum clot tree. They're still not going to the nook box. I don't know what's going on. Uh, hopefully we get this hive. It doesn't look good right now. I will check back in a little bit. All right, this is probably going to be our last attempt of the day to try to get these in here. We know we, we got some of the hive in the nuke box, but most of them are in this plum cot. So we're going to shake this plum cot one more time and hopefully we can get, there might be two queens. So wherever they're clustered around right now, hopefully we can get it, get it in the nuke box. Mm -hmm. 
Clusters around here. Shake it again. Hold on, hold on. Come on, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Baby's getting stung! Don't run too fast with a baby on you! Hey! Jeez! Walker Truth! Oh, man. Alright. Current situation. We got some in the nuke box. Still not look very promising because now we got a bunch up here. We got our cluster over here we got to deal with. I don't know folks. We might have lost this battle. We'll see. Looks like they're in the mulberry tree again. I think they're just very confused. Uh, I'm going to shake the plum cot one more time and then uh, I don't know that I'm gonna do anything else. Probably just leave them alone for a bit. We gotta run to the store. Do run some errands. We'll be back. So let's shake this one and then probably check back in tomorrow. All right, well, back from the store. And the bees are gone from the mulberry tree. And they're not in the nook. So I was gonna give up. Then Pop said, hey, why don't you look on the wood line over here? So I did, got the golf cart, took a ride over here and I found them in this evergreen tree up here. So our last attempt is gonna be to cut the limb off of the evergreen tree. Try to bring it down here and see if we can do it a little bit slower, basically. So we'll see. Here they are right up here though. Here they are through the thicket up there. A little bit high, but I think I can get to them. So I'm going to get in there, my veil and stuff on, and cut that limb off. Try to bring it down slowly. I'm going to climb up that ladder. I'm going to take this here saw, cut down the old limb, walk it down, and uh, put it in the hive. Then we're going to tape the hive up so they can't leave. So, pray for me. I tried to be as dainty as possible with cutting that limb. It was really hard. But I think we got most of them. The question is, did we get the queen? There's still a bunch up. Probably a quarter of the hive still left in the tree. Maybe not that much, but 
a decent amount still left in the tree, so we'll see what these guys do. If they come on down to the nuke box, then we got her. They look like they're taking off from the limb, so that's a good sign. So we'll see. See what they end up doing. This is definitely my last attempt at trying to get this hive. It's been all day affair, off and on. I don't know how many times we dunked this hive, probably four times. So if this doesn't work, I'm done. So we'll check back in a little bit and see. All right, so the end of the day, the culmination of catching two honeybee swarms from our one hive. And I think we're, we've been successful on the second swarm. So let me show you. I had to go climb the ladder like you saw, cut down the limb, and I just gently laid it on top of the nook. And this is where we're at. You can see down inside there, the bees look like they're, they want to stay on that limb, obviously. But I think we're, we've been successful. We were able to catch two swarms. Super excited about this because we can grow our beehives and beat more beehives means more pollination. More pollination means more fruit, more life, and more honey. So thanks for watching, guys. We will see y'all in the next video.